Greetings all. Shane Bruce here with Resto Mod Daisy, my media consultant. Also known as my daughter tells me I need to do uh, more videos about guns that come in before we rest them on them and turn them into guns that go out. So, in order to comply with that requirement, we're doing a video today of an acquisition that uh, just came in from eBay. A Daisy Model 107, also referred to as a Buck Jones although this is not a branded Buck Jones 107. Uh, Daisy built a series of different pump guns in the 20s and 30s. Uh, the Model 25 is probably the most famous. It's a flex action uh, mechanism. The Model 105 and 107 are called trombone pumps. And the rationale behind that is that this pump arm does not have a lever in it. So it takes uh, quite a bit more force, more energy, to get the gun armed. Uh, they were very popular with the uh, Daisy clientele. This was one of the uh, guns that they had a movie star tie-in with. It's a neat little gun. It has some unusual features for a Daisy of the, of the moment, of the time. You'll notice that it's got a welded claw. It's got the uh, tacked on front sight. But uh, the most unusual thing about the gun is the shot tube. It is not a standard length shot tube. The one for the 105, the shot tube for the 107 are a completely different length than the regular Daisy product that was available as a bottle cap. This one has seen better days. As you can see as I roll it, it's quite a bit out of square. Pretty flexed. Now this may have something to do with the extremely long uh, shot tube that's attached to the plunger head on this particular gun. It's twice the length of a of the same uh, part of a regular Daisy, a Red Rider uh, number 111 Model 40, or any of the other wide body bottle caps that I've looked at. That's a unique item. It also features a very, very irritating spring loaded trigger. It requires a coil spring to be mounted between the traverse bar and the secondary trigger mechanism that it's here to engage. It took a while to figure that out, but uh, the gun does arm and does fire, but well, it arms and it cocks and it discharges, but it fails to discharge a pellet. I'll have to take another look at the shot too, because I think it's occluded. This also has a, a daisy adjustable for elevation, but not adjustable for windage, rear sight. It's not a bad little unit. And as we can see here on the frame, it is a 107. It is not the Buck Jones. The Buck Jones had a number of unique features that this gun does not have. Primarily, it was the uh, gun that had the sundial and compass in stock. That was never a feature of a production Red Rider, but because of a Christmas story, everybody thinks it was. And Daisy has uh, issued numerous Christmas story Red Riders that had those features on them, even though they historically never built that gun. Anyway, that's enough for today. We're rolling up on three minutes. We'll do another introductory video of some other guns that have come in this week. And we'll continue the process of rest of modding this into a vertical Tommy grip. Nah, yeah, we're going to put one of those on there. Well, Shane Bruce, Rest of Mod Daisy, signing off.